Hello and welcome to Spy Money. We're going to talk about a trail stop, how they work, how you can use them in Active Trader or in Think or Swim. And I personally like a on the ES, we're in after hours, <clears throat> so I can't trade a regular stock. I went ahead and come over to a paper trading account so that it's just a demo account that I use for videos and so forth. So on this one, it's uh, got the potential coming down. It may go down all night. It may not. So we don't know for sure what's going to happen. So what we want to do is we want to get in the trade and we want to have a trailing stop to follow it. So if we went ahead and bought in at, say, uh, 3072 right here, if we bought in at 3072 or actually sold because we're going to short, if we sold at 3072, then we would want to put like a 10 point trail stop on it. So if we bought it at 3072, at 3082, right uh, right up here, it would actually sell if it would actually reverse on us. So what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to set this up. And we're not going to use the limit. We don't need that. And we're going to add a 10 to the trail stop. Uh, or trail, yeah, right here, trail stop. So by doing that, uh, now we have it set up to where if we click a, a sell order to short it, then uh, uh, and when it engages, then the 10 will pop up up here. Okay, so this is trading at um, say 3072. So we're going to come down here and we're going to do a sell right there. Now they show together, but as soon as this comes down and touches the stop or the uh, buy, then it will go ahead and purchase it and then your trail will take off on you. Okay, so let me raise this up just a little bit just to make it buy. Or I guess sell. Okay, there. So now our trail stop is up here. So what right now we're shorting the stock. So if this would decide to keep on going, it's going to stop it at 10 points of where we bought. Now when this starts reversing and coming down, this trail stop will move down with it. And it will stay within 10 points of this candle. So the purpose of this is so that you can go do other things. You don't have to sit there and watch the computer and stuff. You can just go ahead and uh, set your trail stop and as it runs, it will uh, move along with it and say, let's say it dropped 50 points. And so you would be 50 points profit. And if that's ES, that's going to be $2,500 on it because it's $50 a point. And so you're going to be at uh, $2,500. So 10 is going to be uh, $500. So if that thing would actually go down to 2,500 profit and then pull back um, the 10 points, then you would be at $2,000 profit. Whereas if you had a stop in, and you uh, took off and you couldn't watch it, there's a chance it would come all the way back to your stop and then you'd lose all that profit. So a trailing stop is your best uh, to make the most money as long as you can adjust it for your ups and downs. Like from here's uh, 3067 to here is uh, 3076. So that was nine points right here. So if you'd had a trail stop on it, it would have come down and went to here. But because it only did you know, the less than 10, it would still be in the trade and then it would still come on down. So you've got to allow a little bit of breathing room. I have found that 10 points works real good on the ES. And so as this thing would uh, go down, your trail stop would go down with it. So that's how you um, um, use that. And if you want to get out of it, so if you're in a, a short, you'd have to buy it back. So if you come up here and just uh, say join the bid, then as soon as it hits, it will go ahead and sell it. At that point, you can go ahead and cancel your trail stop. So that's how we use the trail stop feature. Uh, you can also go, uh, if you don't want to use it this way, uh, the way I like to do it is as soon as I do the short, then I will go ahead and, let's see, where are we? Uh, let's see, we are in at 3074.50. I add five, so that would be 3079.50, and I would go ahead and click there, and that puts me a, a, a stop right there. And then you can go into your market orders, and you right-click your um, underlying, you hit create closing order, and you go ahead and click stop. 
and that'll bring us down here so then you click on stop tra uh, trail stop um, and you want to make this good to cancel and then you can come down here and you can make this a 10 oops and you can make that a 10 and then send it and then when you come back to your chart you've got your trail stop uh, I typically do that because I like to manually do it. I don't always like to have this because sometimes things happen and it doesn't go according to plan as far as the way this goes in. So if I manually do it, it's, it's just better for me. Uh, now once this comes down and your trail stop is past your limit, you can just X out of your limit, your, your stop, and then your trail stop is the only thing in play. So you can utilize this anyway. Uh, once you figure out your plan of attack to hit the trade to make the most money, then you can adjust your numbers and everything the way you see fit. So I hope this uh, tutorial helped you and it allows you to make the trail stops. You can play around with this up here. There's different brackets and stuff you can do. You can also save them like uh, on this one here. I uh, saved it and it automatically put a limit in for five and a trail stop for five. Um, there's one here just for long uh, trail stops. So if you put this one in, but you know your limit, I don't use that. So always just click out of that. You can't just put trail stop up here. You have to have that limit. Just uh, not, um, disable it so it doesn't go in. And um, that should help you. Uh, have any questions or anything? Please feel free to uh, message me uh, on down in the comments. Also, we have a Discord group where I teach how to use Thinkorswim, uh, how to chart. Uh, look for patterns and how to trade futures, options, and Forex. So uh, I pretty much use the same system on all of them, but it's just a matter of reading in the charts. And also in our Discord group, we post all of our trades, uh, not only me, but others. And then it's up to you to decide if that trade is good for you or not. Uh, this is not a call-out service. We, we really don't like people following other people. We like people to... Uh, do their own trades but you know when they see someone else's trade maybe it's on a stock that you wouldn't have thought of or maybe a strike price or whichever on an option and then you know you can go ahead and look at the charts and stuff and see if it fits you to where you can do it as well uh, so you can make a lot of money doing that uh, we charge fifty dollars for the discord and it's a uh, per month and uh, you stay in there's a chat room and so forth so it helps you to be a better trader uh, you can also look at our YouTube videos and utilize those to the best of, uh, to help you trade better. And please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.